it's all about turn times these days for you guys. And if you're brokering loans at all, you gotta set them to Remen Wholesale. Three day turn times across the board and premium pricing, like the best pricing out there and three day turn times. Need I say more? Remen Wholesale, click the banner right below. Below the video, you'll see it there over on your right. Have an account executive, you get a hold of you and get your file through the system. Three day turn times, premium pricing, Remen Wholesale. So in states that have escrow officers, I ask you, is that gig over? Because one, I don't know how many folks are going down to an escrow office and sitting down with an escrow officer, their realtor, and their lender. You know, you lenders, you do go to your signings, don't you? At least you used to. But maybe some of you, okay, very few of you did this. But that was just a missed opportunity for you to put your cherry on top of your performance and ask for a referral. But those days are gone, thanks to COVID. Back to escrow. Will escrow signing at escrow offices come back when these therapeutics and vaccines hit the market this next year. I mean, are you gonna start going back to the movies? Maybe. Restaurants? Probably. Bars and nightclubs? Definitely. Escrow offices? I don't know. You see, one of the things COVID has done is speed up the inevitable. Sites like Zoom, which have been adopted, will surely stay in place. It's too convenient. Always has been. COVID has just forced you to use these type of interactive interface technologies more. Why jump in a car when you can can just pull up 10 properties and show them remotely. It's faster and more convenient for all parties, not just the agent. Okay, now back to escrow. These are actually self blow outing birthday candles. They're e candles. I paid a thousand dollars for all these. They have some kind of digital timer in them that knows when to blow out. They even have a little microphone in each one that can tell when you're done singing the happy birthday song. Super advanced technology, very expensive. Zillow reports that more than 60% of its Zillow office customers closed on their home through RONs, RONs, Remote Online Notaries. This increase in tech usage is now driving up the company's earnings. Now, one, you have to understand with Zillow, it's all about the earnings. Realtors, are you listening to me? Please quit using them. And two, the cost of remote online notaries drives the cost of a transaction down. Funny story, the gal that I used to use for all of my escrows, her name was Linda, who would sign my clients, has transitioned from an escrow officer, a traditional one, to a mobile notary. She now has more clients, earns more money, and has less stress than her traditional role as an escrow officer. So why in the heck would she go back? Now, having online notaries will not only make the process cheaper, it'll make it more convenient. Again, COVID has taken the inevitable, which is pushing everyone to online platforms and sped the process up. You guys need to think about it because companies like Zillow already have. According to Richard Barton, the CEO of Zillow, virtual tour requests tripled when the stay at home order began. These new tools are immediately relevant today and there is just no going back. Understand that? They will change the expectation for new generations of buyers and sellers in the future. Now, the only argument I have with this guy's statement is it's not that it will, it already has. Now here's where the rubber meets the road. We're not arguing for a tech platform, it's really a hybrid platform where both agent and lender use technologies that their future clients will not only want, but demand. Mobile 1003s, simple e-doc uploads, integrations into your systems that offer real-time updates. From a marketing standpoint, you have to embrace these changes as well. Virtual tours, mobile landing pages with lead capture, single property websites with lead capture, virtual open houses with e-brochures and flyers for marketing purposes, infographics on properties, with all surrounding amenities that agents and lenders can manipulate to give an accurate representation of great places around any given property. And of course, a robust CRM that not only deals with leads and opportunities, but also past clients and even families and friends. It's a mouthful, but that is now your new job description. And it's the job of the agent and lender to maintain their relevance in the future. The agent and lender need to be the conductor of this orchestra, their own personal CEO that ensures that all these moving pieces are operating at maximum capacity. You as a lender or a realtor no longer can have a caveman approach to your business where you see a client, club them over the head and drag them back into your cave or your office. That's not only about the contract and the 1003 anymore. Frankly, it's almost an afterthought at this point. It's about you understanding how your clients are consuming information. It has 
permanently changed and it's the astute realtor and lender who will make note of these changes, adapt and adopt and ultimately succeed. Those who don't are quickly going to find themselves relics of days gone by. Think about it man, I'll be 60 years old in like a year and a half. My goodness! I'm the last generation that remembers the world without a computer. Return to the origins of modern man. Discover the Neanderthals who thrived in the face of frigid cold and mortal danger for a hundred thousand years, only to die out as the final step in man's evolution was about to begin. I don't necessarily like tech but it's not about me. Tech used to be a standalone industry. Like you have medical, entertainment, and service industries. These are industries like tech was. But now tech is a modifier or an enhancement on every industry in our country. Virtually everything I do personally and professionally has an element of technology. How I watch movies and buy goods and perform my job. Now at almost 60, it puts me on the downside of the slope. Do you think this movement will speed up or slow down as younger generations start to fill the landscape of future homes? homeowners. There's really only one answer to what Frank just said. Now the thing is, as an agent and a lender, you not only bring your personal expertise to the table, which is absolutely necessary, you also bring your knowledge of your community. That point gives you the inside track in your local market over big block Zillows and Quickens of the world. Your neighbors and friends, they know you. You're in choking distance as we like to say. You have a vested interest and that matters. You might find yourself in the stands and not on the playing field. Our industries are not going away. They're just evolving, so we need to do the same. And to make a long show even longer, I gotta tell you, I had a conversation with a client on Listing Booster. I saw a lead come in for an agent who was up in Cleveland, Ohio, and I decided what the heck I'm gonna call this agent. I saw the lead come in in real time. Five minutes later, I called that agent to say, hey, you've got this lead. You really need to like talk with this person. And the agent said, yeah, I'm showing the property at four o'clock today. That is technology working on behalf of that agent. And that's an agent being on top of her technology. If you'd like to learn more about Listing Booster and how you can take this all-encompassing technology and apply it to your business as both a lender and a real estate agent, we'd like to help you out. All you need to do is click the banner down below and we'll be in touch with you. With that said, if you're meeting us for the first time, subscribe, forward this to everybody, but the best thing you can do is, but the best thing you can do is get our mobile app, and all you have to do is this. Download the National Real Estate Post mobile app today. Available on Apple Store and Google Play. Just search National Real Estate Post.